Let's lie on that. What's he trying to do, love? Lie on that. You lie on the suitcase, Louis. So, was there anything in particular you, you know, if you had a question in mind, or was there something in particular you wanted covering, or did you want just in general yeah. to see what come up? Love. Love. <laughs> in relationship. Love. Now, I'm going to use the, um, I'm going to start by using the normal playing card to what comes up, okay? These are like fortune telling cards, so let's see what comes up here. And then I'll use some of the other decks for you as well, okay? Shuffle. Yeah, test regarding love and relationships. The root couple of aces and the aces always represents a new beginnings. So I do feel that things regarding relationships are turning around. I'm going to say for the better, as I do feel that you felt for a long time things were on hold and things wasn't moving anywhere. And it's, I feel as if you're wondering whether you are in the right place regarding relationships or whether you need to move on. It's like you're at a crossroads, that's what I'm feeling here. I'm also feeling that you... I say that the gentleman in question, I do feel that he's not very open about his his feeling so it's like you're not sure where he's coming from you know it's like you're drawing a blank it's like you try to speak and you get nothing back <laughs> i've got there's two at the moment um the first one is david who's a cancerian um he is hot and cold like you just said so is that him you're picking up on it could be yeah because i do feel like, like i want to say so like I'm, I feel like the connection is like like new insight, you know. So it's like so he's completely different to what you normally go for. So he's he's like out out of your I'm gonna say jurisdiction. It's like I feel that he wouldn't be the normal person you'd go for. He's somebody that you would normally turn away from because you didn't think it would work. You know, they do see opposites attract, don't they? <laughs> uh, that's the other one. This is the other one. Oh, this is the other one. Okay. And I'm also getting, getting someone that does more business sense, that they're, they're more in, in love with their work than they are with anything else. So, so it, will this be the same person? Yes. yes. This one we're talking about is Hamid. Right. All right, darling. Okay, so this is what I'm picking up is on him. So obviously, if you're wondering who would be the right one to go for, maybe that would be an, an, an insight to do who we picked up on would be the right person for you. Obviously, he's the only person that's came up. We've also got the Six of Diamonds here. The Six of Diamonds it, it is about... I want to say, say he's good for you. He likes to pay for things. He likes to... to he does like to, to buy you gifts. But I do feel you also like your independence. You feel as if that... He's trying to take your independence away from you a little bit, you know? It's like he's trying to take over. We haven't met. Oh, you haven't yet. met? Oh. No. So it's just talking we, on the... um, Yeah, we've talked for three years on Skype and on the phone. Oh, wow. And you've not met yet. Do you live nearby? I think there's a distance. No, he lives in Dubai. Oh, so that's, you know, isn't it funny? The right ones are always the ones that are too far away, isn't it? It's, it's horrible, isn't it? It's like... You know, maybe one day magic will happen and something will come and bring you be able to meet. But, but you know, the right ones are always the ones you can't get grasp your hands on. So do you see a meeting coming up with this one? Is he going to actually come over and meet? I do feel there's been talk of it, and I feel that, that it's more so recently. And I do feel, yeah, I, I'm seeing, like, contentment and joy and, and uh, you know, uh, become a scarce of family. So, so, yeah, I do see it coming, but I'm not quite sure as of when. Let me see if I can get a time frame. Okay, I want to say 10 months, okay? I do feel he's got some things going on at the minute, and I and I feel that I want to say there has been talk towards the end of the year that, that it could happen. So I feel like something you've already spoken about, maybe. No, he hasn't said. He's just said he's looking for an opportunity to get over here. He's a pilot from, you know, lives in Dubai. Yeah, we just got a couple of tens. But when we get tens come up, it, it's about the feeling of completion and, and new beginnings. You know, some something comes to an end in order to make way for the beginning. So, so yeah, I do see towards the end of the year that, that you, you, you could be connecting. So could ten mean October? Yeah, yeah, that would be ten, ten months. Yeah, 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 October, yeah, October, yeah, October, November. 
Okay. Exciting. And what, what, well, he's quiet at the moment. And is it because he, um, is he, is he losing interest? Or let's what's see, let's going see, on with see what we can get. Okay, well, why would we be quiet? We've got a couple of eights clubbing the eights. Okay, we've got a couple of eights that's just clubbing. It's about um, lack of movement and um, I feel that things aren't moving for him as much as what he thought they would. So I do feel that there's some things, you know, things going on over on his side that obviously he's probably not talking about. You know, sometimes, you know, men very are very private, aren't they, with things that get going on. You know, any man is, man is you know, sometimes we wish that they wouldn't, we should be more open. But I do feel that there's something going on that he's just not ready to discuss yet. Nothing bad. We also got the two of clubs come up and the, the two of spades. Sorry, and the two of spades is is about about yeah, get, failing to communicate. So he finds it difficult to talk about certain things. Okay. So I do feel that that's what he's doing. So there's something going on, obviously, but he's not finding it hard to to put it across to you in what 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 it is that um he needs to say to you. Sometimes it's hard to put some things into words, isn't it? You know, we find it difficult ourselves. And... Yes, yeah, exactly. Um, so with the, when I meet him, do you see what what will kind of happen? Will it? Will I meet him again after that? Will it start a relationship? Okay, we got here. I think it's going to be good, okay, because we've got victory. I like that when we get victory. He's like, yeah, he's like like, like achievements and then the things being a success. And so, so, yes, I do feel that things will come of it. You know, you've been, as you say, you've been talking for three years and you've already got that connection and uh, so it's not like you don't know each other. But sometimes at the moment you feel as if, do I know him at all? Because obviously you feel that he's keeping something from you and it's not nothing on your behalf. I do feel that you are quite insecure yourself. Yeah. So, so you, you kind of end up thinking, you know, is it me if I've done something? You know, it's not you, okay? So, so don't keep thinking it's you. I do feel that that, that you're you're very organised. You're you're very intellectual. You 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 kind of you're very good at picking up on little signs and little little inklings. And uh, I do feel yeah. that you know you sat there and you kind of write. I'm gonna you read and then without you realizing you're doing it so you kind of body language and things that I feel you're very good at picking up on and yeah yeah okay so with the other with the other guy with David what do you see happening now okay, with him let's have a look what do we see happening with David okay nine of diamonds we've got come on the nine of diamonds is telling us about okay i want to say to you he's he's very good um in in the, your wealth aspect if you financially i feel that he may be good for you financially so i see that the things going on around him that that are improving i do feel that he he's very independent as well he he's very i can put it he's very I would say upfront with with certain things, but very protective of, of his own. Does that make sense? Yeah, he's a Cancerian. It's like trying to get. He will only tell me what he wants me to know. He's very very deep. Yeah, like sometimes it's not not enough, is it? You know, you you just saying that because you feel I need to hear it. Don't 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 sugarcoat things with me. You you know, you're, you're a stronger person now than what you was before, and it's like people who need to stop stepping on eggshells. You know, just just. Give it to me, you know what I mean? I can take it, you know. You're a big girl now, you know, and it's you, you, you've done all that. People stepping on eggshells, people creeping around, and you know, you don't want you want it to hear it as it is, you know. Either there's something or there's nothing. Don't, don't, don't keep prolonging things, you know. I do feel that you sense that there's um, like, like you're drifting apart, you, you, and you and David, but David's closer, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's here, yeah. I, I saw him on Friday, yeah. Yeah, 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 but I do feel there's kind of some distance coming, coming between you. It's like, like a sense of atmosphere when you're together, something doesn't feel quite right and you can't quite work out what that is. And with that, we've got the nine of space just jump on out there. So what's the nine of space telling me? The nine of space is about, yeah, I feel that, you know, you, you're sensing problems and, and you're causing it, you know, there's worry. Um, for some reason, I, it's like you're feeling guilty, but you're not sure what you're feeling guilty for. He's making you feel like you've done yeah. something, yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, have you I tried asking them, you know, what, what's going on here? Oh, no, I don't, I, don't, I don't feel guilty for anything I've done with him, no. No, 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 but it's the way he's making, making you feel like, like he's making you feel like you've done something wrong when you haven't, because he's not being open with oh, you, if like, that makes sense. So yeah, you're kind of, so you're kind of wondering, yeah. okay, there's, there's something going on here, you know, I can feel, I can sense it, you know, what is it? When it gets to the bottom. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly that. Yeah, yeah. It's like asking a question and not getting a full answer. Yeah, yeah. It's like he's he's misinterpreting what you're saying, or, or he changes the subject. And uh... <coughs> yeah, well, like he's trying to avoid yeah. trying to like, avoid certain things. He's been saying we've been going away. For, we're meant to be going away for a few days for the last I don't know how many months. He's been saying it. But it's like it's all words and no action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know, sometimes we have to say, you know, is this what I want? Do I want to keep living with false hope? You know, is it what mm. you want? And I don't think think it is. I think you're you're ready now to to settle down with somebody now. You you know you you're ready for that yes. next stage. And uh, it's taken a long time, a lot of hard work and, and and dedication to yourself to get yourself to this level. And now it all seems one sided. You know, you give you give it your all. Okay? Yeah, you're talking to somebody else, but you know everybody's allowed friends, okay? So there's nothing wrong with that, you know. And I do feel you're quite open about you speaking to somebody else. I think he knows about you speaking to somebody else, does he know? Oh, he knows I've been, you know, out with people, dated people. I was seeing somebody for a few months. You know, he knows that. I've been very open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, it's, it's like he's he's saying, oh yeah, we must go away, blah blah blah. Like now he's meant to be finding out what weekend we can go away. So I thought, in my mind, I'm going to give him until this Friday, and if he doesn't come back with a date, that's it, I'm done. Yeah, yeah, you can only take so much, you know, you can't, you yeah. can't keep pulling your heartstrings and, and uh, playing messing around, because it's not very, very fair on you. So what, what, do you, what do you see us going away? Do you see him actually making making that leap? Two of, two of hearts is coming. Two of hearts is about. It says uh, two of hearts about depending action. So so depending on 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 him, you know. It, it's it's not how you want. You know. Have you thought about maybe taking the leap and saying, right, we're gonna go away. Okay, I've looked. This is where I've seen. What do you think? And then then you know. Yeah, no, I've, I've, I've done that. He I, just uh, needs to get the date. Yeah. That's why he I picked that thing. He's already done it. <laughs> yeah. He um, just needs to get the right date for me to organise my kids for... Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, because obviously there's other things behind. It's not a case that you could just drop that and just go. The, you know, there's the things that need sorting out beforehand. Yeah. You know? Doesn't make life very easy for you, does he? He's a very difficult man. <laughs> yeah, he can be. It's, I don't think he means to be. I think he means well, but, like... He's all mouth, no action, and I want the action. And I've told yes. it. It feels like to me that he just, it's like he's trying to cause like a little bit of a battle, like a little bit of argument. Um, I think that you two get on really well, and sometimes that could be a bit, I don't know, overwhelming when you don't you get on too well sometimes, you know, because there's no fallouts. There's not no. So it's like he's trying to cause rift for some reason and there's no need of it you know there's no reason to fall yeah. out but but you know it's because it's all plain sailing and it's all honestly it's quite beautiful the relationship you have because you don't get that very often and uh, it's nice to have that yeah. with a person you know we and it's just so well. like why are you trying to cause a battle why are you trying to 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 push me to my limits to see how far you can push me what what is the point in that it's not gonna get him anywhere you know well, Men work in weird and mysterious it. ways sometimes, don't they? You know, and there's no, no no need of it. Yeah, <laughs> I think that yeah, he he will just in the end he will he is going to be so stupid because he will lose everything. Yes, he will. With me. And, and, and yeah, yeah, but of course he will because you're nearly there now. I can see it. You you know you can't keep running around, try, you know, wondering what's next. You know what what's tomorrow going to bring, and you know. It's like you can't I mean, live your life waiting for something that that may never happen. So exactly. we have a look to see and if we can see if there's a future between you both. Yeah, yeah. And with that, we've got the five of spades come out. And the five of spades is is telling us, okay, about by him being dishonest, um, sometimes you need to bite the bullet, sometimes cut, cut cords. Um, We've got the jack of space come up, okay, again, it's about, about a little fallout, it's like he's trying to cause problems, 
I, I feel what I've got getting here is that it's not going to change, okay? It's always going to be this way. Um, you need to think about planning your next steps. You know, is this what think about yourself, okay? You're always putting time out for everybody else, but not for yourself. So it's time to put you first now. So do you know what we're going to do now? I'm going to pop these cards away and I'm going to pull you some general cards regarding you, okay? You know? Okay. See where we move. I'm just going to ask you, though, um, about Hamid, if I was honest with him and I said, look, you know, I really want to meet up. I want to see if there's anything between us and maybe we can, you know, we can build on that. How would that go down with him? I think it'd go down really well. I think, think you know, it's right talking like this to somebody, you know, but you can't, like, you can't base a relationship on that, you know, and, and so some people are quite happy with that. But, you know, like I said, you're ready for that next. That, that, that next yeah. next stage, you you want the, the the proper companionship. You want to be sharing meals with somebody. You want to be uh, been able to pull your heart to somebody. You want to you know your kids to to, to to meet somebody that you're stable with. You know and you know and I do do feel you know your kids are probably saying to you, mum, you know you got to settle down now. And this is you know so you can't keep to and fro like this. What are you playing at? You know. <laughs> yeah. And when it comes to your children, it's like, well, hang on a minute, you know. But it's not like you're putting yourself out there. You're going out with loads and loads of people, but. They, they 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 know that they see they, they pick up on your energy and they they can see that you know in here you're still a little bit broken because you, you just want that complete sense of completion and yeah. you're giving your all yeah. you know it's not that you neglect everybody else but but sometimes it may feel like that because you're always talking about these people you know and and you know that's why they're saying to you, you know when you've got to sort this out you know where's it going you know yeah. You've got your best interest at heart. That's what they have. Your kids are amazing. They got they, they love the mum. They don't like seeing you seeing you hurt and, and distraught and you know. Yeah. Let's look at the major arcana cards. We're not going to focus on you, okay? Remember, you are just as important as anybody else, if not more important. Yeah, this is just the major arcana cards. These are that I'm using. You've got the strength, the empress, and the chariot that came up for you. Let's have a look. Just have to look at my little cheat sheet here, just because I get forget sometimes what they're meaning. Oh, what we done here? Okay, strength. Okay, the. Honestly, you got to stop doubting yourself. You got to your your self esteem isn't as high as what it should. What I think it should be. You 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 try to put on a front. You try to put on a brave face, but but you know. It's still a lot of hard work. You're still not as happy in yourself as what, you, what where you feel that you should be. You know, you try every day's a struggle, and, and you don't like people to see you struggling, but it is. It's like you wake up and you're like, oh, we'll be able to get today. So it's like you're not excited about the next day. It's like you're worried about what tomorrow is bringing you. Okay. We also got got the Empress, and uh, this is about um. A, you're feeling like you're blocked again because we're moving forward and, and I feel it's the, the men in your life that are preventing you from moving forward because you're putting life on hold for them because you're waiting for them, waiting, waiting, you know, what's to come next. It, it's almost like that it's taking away your, your independence, you, you know, you, you're living your everyday life as you should be because every day is, is about them. Okay, so you need to, and I'm not saying it's been nice, you start focusing your attention on the other things that are important in your life, like yourself and, and maybe your children. And then, you know, it's easy to fall into this entrapment of, of, of being focused on more of that than, than yourself. And, and, it's, and it's not that, that you do it on purpose, it's just that you don't see it until somebody spells out to you. So, you know, I feel when your children have said to you, Mum, you know, they don't do it to upset you, darling, okay? They do it because they care and they don't obviously see that you, it's upsetting you and, and and they do pick up on it. You know they do, more so than you do yourself, I think. <laughs> We've also got the chariot of rest, okay? This is about lack of direction in case you're not, not knowing which way to go and where we're going from here. I'm now going to focus on seeing where do you go from here? Where do we see yourself in the, in the next couple of months, okay? And with that, we've got the Temperance, the High Priestess, and the Tower. So, so the Towers come up with us. Now, the Tower is obviously about conflict, fallouts, and things not going to plan. It that's going to turn around. Okay, so things are going to start calming down on that side of things. And we also got the um. Let me just have a look at the Temperance. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, the tower is, is reversed. It's just about um, letting go of your fear of what is to come, what lies around the corner. You know, I do feel you do take each day as it comes, but sometimes, it's, again, it's not enough. Everything seems like an uphill struggle all the time. You, honestly, you are starting to wake up to, to, to the reality of what's going on in your life. And sometimes I feel that you don't want to face reality. You're quite happy living, I want to say, in this little, little little dream world, as you want to call it, you know, of, of, of yeah. like this little fantasy world of what, where you see yourself in, in a couple of years, you know, with these persons settled down. And, and that those visions are what I feel is what's keeping you going. Mm. Yeah. You know, everybody has a way of dealing with things differently, and that's your way of dealing with it. You know, in my, you know, in you know, in reality, that that maybe is not going to happen with these people, but to hold on to those thoughts is what gets you by each day. Yeah. yeah. And the high high priestess is about your intuition. You you pick up you're picking up on a lot of things yourself, and your intuition is very very strong. Um, your subconscious mind is knowing, you know, or, or I feel or a lot of this I'm telling you, you already know anyway, so it's just, you know, kind of put, reminding you, you know, that you are right with what you're picking up, you are right, you know, with your spiritual side of things. And again, there's something else I feel has come to a close because there are people that don't agree with it around you, so you, you put that aside as well. You're not living your life to, 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 to who you should be, you're living your life as you for other people feel you should be living it. You're trying to live your life up to everybody else's expectations but your own. Yeah, probably. So I feel that, you know, it's time to take a step back and think, right, who am I? You know, if I ever say to you, who are you? You don't know because you, you, you've never really thought about who you are within yourself. You know, what do you feel your, what, what do you feel your life purpose is? You know, what, what do you feel that you, can achieve, you know, all these questions, and the answer you, you, I get you, you don't know. You never really sat and thought about yourself, you know, where you see yourself and, and what you want out of life, you know. When you were growing up, what did you want to be when you grew up? Um, oh, I wanted to be a hairdresser, and I am a hairdresser. Are you a hairdresser? Oh, so you are living here, yeah, you yeah. dream of being a hairdresser, that's good. And I, yeah, I had, I've got my career, my career was sooner sorted, but. I think the last six years I've been on my own with my boys and it's just been about them. Yeah, yeah, and do you know what, it's good that you put that, yeah, that's why I said now you feel now you want somebody, you know, else in your life, you need some, I would say adult yeah. interaction, okay, not sexually, because it's not about that, it's about having just a companion, okay. just a companion, yeah. just somebody to, to, to be there and I do feel that sometimes you may be looking in the wrong places for it, you know, but... You're just trying to fill that void, that emptiness there, you know. Boys, boys are probably growing up now and, you know, it's like, well, you know, fear of being on your own. You know, they're growing up, being on your I, own. I don't, I don't fear that too much. I mean, my boys now are 15 and 16 and my youngest boy will. Oh, they're keeping you on your toes then. They're at that age of keeping you on your toes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've also got the temperance come up. Yeah, and the temperance and just my friend here, just a little bit of a guideline. Oops, it's about balance and moderation, and again, like I said, you're about your purpose, like purpose and things. And but I'm glad you, you know, you're hairdressing, you love your hairdressing as well, and you enjoy that, so you've got, got your being occupied there. So yeah, I think it's just about time for you to put yourself first, mate, you know, because you're important as well. Do you have any questions, okay. darling? Um, yeah, I mean, if it, it, how do you see me kind of, if it isn't these two we've talked about, kind of where do you see me kind of meeting somebody that's like a long-term partner? Yeah. I'm going to use me, um, I will say to you, we have gone over your 20 minutes.